<laughs> I love this next question. And it's, it's a fairly long one, but it's, it's, I just want to read the whole thing because I think it's interesting. What is your feeling about the movie The Exorcist and the whole genre of movies that continue to be produced to this day? I was 12 years old when I saw it, and it terrified me in a way that I will never forget. The special effects were epic and the acting was great, but that wasn't enough for the director, William Friedkin. His goal was to put us in the deepest state of fear that we've ever, ever been in while watching a movie. I think it hindered my spiritual development because, even now as I explore metaphysics, I am always fearful of running into a dark side. From listening to people like you, John, I realized that I never should have worried about that at all. What do you think? It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a great question. I don't watch horror movies. I think it's I think I it, flat out I think they're stupid. <laughs> I think they're stupid because I don't like being scared. I don't like being in fear. And I think fear is is detrimental to growth. And to sh- you know, your 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 film that that changed your experience was The Exorcist. Mine was Jaws. Uh I I grew up in a beach resort. And I saw that movie and went and never went more than waist deep in the water again <laughs> for, for my entire childhood. I'd go out, I'd catch a wave, I'd ride it in, I'd go out, catch a wave, ride it in, but I'd never go out any further because I saw the movie Jaws and it terrified me. And I went out there in the water and my feet aren't on the ground. What's underneath me? Is that big mouth coming up to bite me? You know? So I had a real big scare. And I think when when you have these genres of film that are designed specifically to scare you and to give you these jump scares, and think about that. You have a jump scare in a movie. (gasps) That's the primal fear response, right? And these directors are trying to put you in fear. Some people love movies that scare them. I hate them. Don't watch them. My son growing up naturally doesn't watch horror movies. You know, he's with, when he's with me half the time. He's with with his mother half the time. We just don't watch horror movies because it's not something we we're into. Why would I want to be scared? Why? Why? There's no need. We'd much rather see something that makes us laugh, something that makes us smile, something that shows a hero doing something amazing. You know, some you know, show a world of possibility rather than the horrible things that will get you now. You're 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 talking about how it hindered your spiritual development. Yes, I often run into people who tell me about the demons that are attacking their life and all these things, and I tell them I don't have those experiences because I don't believe in those experiences. I don't believe in demons, so I don't see demons. I don't believe in evil entities, so I don't see them. And I had someone argue with me the other day. Well, and it was very interesting because their argument fell apart. As we as we spoke, because she kept saying, "Well, you're just in a different place," and I was like, "Yes, that's absolutely correct. I'm in a different place, a place where you can be." But she couldn't see that she could be there as well, and that was the issue that she had. Was she she says the real, the real? I said, "Well, the real for you because you believe them. Whatever you believe is what you're creating. Whatever you put focus on is what you're creating, and the more you focus there." the more you'll see there. And the reason I don't see it, the reason I don't experience it, because I don't believe it. What you believe, you will perceive. And so you want to make sure that that you don't feed your brain with things that are going to give you subconscious beliefs. You don't want to feed your brain with the concept of evil entities are out to get me. You know, it's so fascinating to me when I when I talk to people who, who believe in those those entities, nine times out of ten, you will find out, number one, they're usually Christian, right? And they usually have come up with the belief in the devil and hell and, and all this stuff, right? I don't believe that, so I don't experience that. And that, to me, is um, the key to it all. But these films that are out there that are promoting these these thoughts, these these fear-based thoughts 
can absolutely be detrimental. And I know some people love to be scared, love to be scared. If that's your thing, go for it. Just don't let it stick. Just don't let it stick because if that, those images and that sound and that experience is creating a belief within you, then, then it's changing your life. It's expecting, it's, it's showing you a, a pathway that you might not like. But, but, you know, if it doesn't affect you that way, that's fine too. So to each his own. To me, I, I don't watch horror movies. I don't like them. <laughs> so there you go. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.